Hi, it's Trixie, and today's episode is brought to you by Usual Wine, the modern drinker's wine made right here in California with zero additives and zero sugar. Get $8 off your first glass today with the code BEAUTIFUL. You guys, Usual Wines are wines for the modern drinker. Each bottle is 6.3 ounces. Picture a heavy pour, about a, a glass and a half of wine. I live alone. Okay, I can't I can't always finish a whole bottle of wine. No more pouring wine down the sink because you didn't finish it. Because of the single serve format and bottle design, Usual Wine is always fresh. No more flat bubbly, no more stale rosé. The wines are low carb and have zero grams of sugar. Usual has a red blend, a rosé, and a sparkling white, my personal favorite, called Brut. We also have Usual Spritz, which is low alcohol, about 8.5 ABV. Low calorie wine spritzer that's made of sparkling wine and guava juice. Think of like a fancy white claw for grown-ups. And the serving size is only 83 calories. Go check out the website at www.usualwines.com and use my discount code BEAUTIFUL for $8 off your first order and try your first glass on us. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Professional. Let me turn my watch bit. off. Hold on, my watch is beeping. Oh, Rich. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh, oh boy. My wait, ass. Wait. I woke up this morning and I was shocked because I watch the BBC every morning and <laughs> there was a horrible death of an icon and I wasn't shocked, but I was like, it's weird that the news is reporting on an American drag yeah, queen's death. I know. And a gay person, too, because the BBC is notoriously person. homophobic. Yeah, I mean, and I listen. just felt more offended that, like, I thought you and I were so close that if you were going to die, you would say something. I would worse. let you know That's first. All I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, well, you know what? It's. Uh, <laughs> we're, of course, it, talking about Prince Philip who died. R.I.P.P.P.P. Uh, rest <laughs> in pee pee, Prince Philip. Rest in pee pee. Rest in pee and poo poo. Can I ask an ignorant, an ignorant American question? Yeah. Do people in the UK, when somebody like this passes away, is it like a celebrity to them or a politician? Both? Is the country truly mourning? Is it like, like Kim Jong, where they're like, ah, you know? Well, no, well, no, but but so okay. Somebody who is did somebody who did this uh, this Irish writer who did the most incredible sort of profile that Meghan Markle uh, debacle recently. Uh huh. He put it this way. So we have a capitalist um, kingdom here. America is a capitalist kingdom, right? So the tragic real, kingdom, tragic, <laughs> yes, no doubt. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, doubt. <laughs> but so the Kardashians, Oprah, um, LeBron, you know, these are the 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 royalty, right? I mean, think about uh-huh. it. Jeff Bezos, no, off. seriously, Jeff Bezos, absolutely. So it's cash is king here. They have actual kings there, but. I mean, so they're a mixture. I would say they're a mixture of a politician and a famous person. They're famous politicians. But Mary, it's a huge range because uh, 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 it's symbolic all, more, right? I mean, symbolic. do these people really have power? Mary, no. huh? They got nothing. I mean, they don't got nothing. Who pays for them? How are they so rich? Does the public pay their, their food That's and water and everything? Question. Like I believe, the, do they get an allowance from the country? I believe it is the 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 tax paying English citizen who foots the bill, and they still have the audacity to have rotten jagged teeth. As someone who basically runs several sweatshops of the entertainment industry, <laughs> you would if I had some people getting paid to exist and vibe. Mary, you would have you would have put the kibosh on that not day one. On my watch. <laughs> Like not on my watch. I would, it was, it's that. It's I'm that not even give, comfortable with you getting paid when we no, were. I, <laughs> it's the first. It's two. It's two gifts. Number one is the Ayanla fist down on the table, and then it's her walking through the woods. You thinking about all the people you just terminated. <laughs> totally. That's absolutely what it is. With no regret. <laughs> yeah. You know what it's I've been thinking true. about a lot too. What I you been think about, about that movie. I care a lot. A lot. Yeah. 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 I think of the haircut. And you know what I think about more than anything? The vaping. The carburetor. It was, <laughs> a, it was a carburetor from a fucking Chevy Malibu. It was a Chevy Seriously, Malibu. Yeah, she a is V8 vaping engine. On, she's, she's basically holding a toaster. <laughs> yeah. on it. it was huge. She is you know, two-handed. She had two hands. Two-handed. Two bony like, hands on that toaster. <laughs> can we address the elephant in the room? How was your spirit journey? I'm going to tell you all about it. 
funny you should mention I care a lot. So there is, there was, I was alone in this house in Tijuana. And caring a lot. Caring so much. Well, I was there alone with another man. Um, uh-huh. I, there was a guy there and he was being, tr- this motherfucker, God bless him. He, I overheard him talking to somebody and saying, you got to watch this movie. It's called, I, I, I care so much. Or I care a lot. And I was like, oh, my ears pricked up. He loved the movie because all he did was watch. He never left the house seven days. He what? never left the house seven days. So he was there for, he had severe depression, severe depression. Am I boring you? <laughs> No, I'm responding she, to a text. She's literally, she's reading a book right now. <laughs> he said, he said he loved the movie. I care so a lot. He loved, he loved it. I was listening. I'd listen to him every once in a while. You know, eavesdrop is, is what I'm trying to say. But he was, I, I have to tell you, Trixie, I have to tell you, you are a very well-adjusted person. Me, not so much. However, however, severe depression is not really a part of my story. Severe depression is rotten. This motherfucker was literally like the cartoon, you know, the cartoon of the, the uh, bull weevil, not the bull weevil, um, the um, peanuts, you know, peanuts, the dirt cloud. Yeah. Pig pen. Pig pen. It was like that, except without dirt, it was sadness. Cla- oh, like wow. literally dragging his ass. I mean, literally dragging his ass down the stairs to get the food, go back up the stairs, be in bed the whole time. Seven days. The whole time. Weather. The whole time. And he was he was there before me, and I, he was there when I left. He, I, Mary, it was beautiful weather, gorgeous weather, Mexico, Lambada, Cucaracha, and he never left. Are you? It's a board, huh? But, no, my watch just, just went off. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm, just oh my I'm, god. Just I'm so surprised at you. Do you know what mentally but, healthy people do? We multitask. Yeah, I know. But wait, 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 wait. So let me look. You're the one who has to go on an exotic trip to Mexico to remember cat to litter. eat. Yeah, I, know. I went cat into litter the retreat. cat litter. Cat litter. So it's a cat litter retreat. Home, yeah, the folks at home. I went down and I did this experimental treatment. It's almost like, it's almost because like. Because at um, this point, <laughs> what do you have left to lose? Nothing. Nothing. I went down and I said, strip my clothes and take the leg. Do it now. And they just said, this is not that kind of retreat, ma'am. This is not that kind of retreat. Take Put your clothes leg. on and we're not amputating you said, anything. You said, strip me down and take the leg. They said, Mary, this is a pottery barn. <laughs> yeah. You're at this a pottery is, barn in Brookfield, jamboree. Wisconsin. This is a baby jogger. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is no, a limited but, two. Yeah. You want a lip balm or a scrunchie? It, but it was fabulous. Vegan diet. Tell me everything. Okay, went down there. So, so if I, without, I won't get into it. It's too. It's a, it's a long story. But anyways, well, no, no, no. We we got to start with what's the program intended to do for people? Okay, so the program is intended to. So it's ibogaine. It's a it's a psychedelic drug that, when administered in a in a clinical environment, um, is being used to treat anything from addiction, mostly opiates, um, but addiction, um, mental health issues, PTSD, depression, things like that. So trauma. Um, they're do- Trauma, absolutely. They're doing it with um, they're doing it with psilocybin or mushrooms. They're doing it with a little, I don't know, MDMA. I think also ketamine. So there's all these can kind it, of. Can it help the skinny? <laughs> no, I'm asking you for have a no friend. hope. You have no hope. You're destined to waste away in three to four weeks. <laughs> I have to, I have to wonder if it's sort of a new agey cactus ridden girl interrupted. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Because if mm. everyone has different. Um, issues, but they're seeking the same treatment. I would think that that creates a very eclectic environment. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, unfortunately, it was just the two of us. I was like hoping for a real kind of like a white wall, you know, like fiat. Like I was hoping for the full thing. But yeah, I, yeah, you know, I had nobody to complain to other than the Mexican staff, who are, by the way, fantastic. You were hoping it was going to be like a prison thing where you walk in with like a, a rolled up mattress and yeah. a tube of toothpaste and they're like, yeah. You're, c- come on, new yeah. fish. Yeah. You and know. I've got my, I've got a sack full of dimes and I'm ready to fucking swing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, it wasn't like that at all. Unfortunately, I was, I wanted to be Angelina Jolie, you know, with the, bl- the blonde hair and the attitude. And then I was hoping to find Brittany Murphy with the eating chicken, but it was not that. It was nothing chicken. of the sort. It was nothing There's this the show sort. I like to watch. I believe it's called 60 Days In. 60 Days In? Anyway, it's a show where people who are not convicted of a crime go to jail for 60 days and they have to withstand 60 days in jail. The 60 day jail challenge? A lot of the time. It's a TikTok dance. Um, (laughs) 
a lot of the, what about this in a world of TikToks be a TED be talk be a TED talk I just listened to your scathing Courtney dragging accent. me through the mud for 26 <laughs> minutes straight I heard something about Barbies and then all I could hear was just uh, shitting 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 the bed it was uh, you were it was well apparently you told her you were you told Courtney act you shit the bed and you'll repa- replace the mattress and then she got back and the mattress wasn't replaced and you said it didn't seep through I'd also love to just point out several facts that the listeners might be enjoyed to hear. Um, this is a woman who has no struggle. This is a woman. This is Courtney Act. She's got no struggle. I knew that she would bounce back from this experience and maybe even get a tail or two out of it. I myself was at a very trying point. In my- <laughs> <laughs> but also, but also, I was thinking about it and I was like, I'm, so I said, either I go on the podcast to set the record straight or you'll hear from my lawyers. I'm confirmed for two weeks from now. But I do want to say right now, I would love to set the record straight in another way. I am not a good person. I'm going to be vulnerable right now. I may be very warm and welcoming and lovely. I am not a now, good person. Let me, let me straighten this out for you. Because to be vulnerable, you have to share something no one knows. And right now, you're telling us something we've been since.org.com.gov. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm puking on the choir right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I will say, Courtney is one of those people who has, what is it, an indubitable spirit? Listen, can I bounce was, back from a shitty bed. But see, she doesn't even fall though. There's, there's no bouncing. There's no bouncing. Yeah. Nothing phases her. This is a person who is the definition textbook of not relatable. She's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. She's completely healthy, healthy a, a paragon of health, a pinnacle of human achievement. Yeah. Nothing is difficult. She doesn't. She doesn't shy away from opportunities. She doesn't shrink in 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 uh, anxiety or horror. She just floats. Not to say everything's easy. But she is just, I don't get it. She's the mother I always wanted. <laughs> she's, she's the, the friend. sister everybody would want. And she's the friend yeah. I hit with my 1994 yeah. Dodge Intrepid. Yeah. And she's the mattress I shat on several times. <laughs> I don't, that's you talking about Jennifer with a G. I don't know a better person. I don't know a better person. <laughs> she- She's the headless doll. I tr- I stuffed through the shoot, and so you get to Mex. You get to Mexico. Okay. Do they take your wallet okay. and keys or anything? No. So it, you know, thankfully, it wasn't like that. Like it's it, not like a lock in at the YMCA. It's not a lock in. It was not a lock. I I had a I took a town car down there, Mary. I was Mr. Lulu. Let me tell you about Mr. Louis Lou, Louis Lou, the only Chinese sedan driver, the only black car driver. He listen to this. I, I, I we uh, we stopped halfway from San Diego to um, from here to San Diego. We stopped you took halfway. Took a car, yeah, to Tijuana. It was four hours, not oh, even. I forget that Mexico is so close. Well, to Tijuana is literally right over the border. It's Baja California. It's right past San Diego. Wow. Yeah, but so listen to this. You'll love this. Uh, we took a. Um, he's like, do you want to uh, uh, take a break to go to the? You know, we could stop at a rest stop, go to the bathroom. I was like, well, I'd love to have a cigarette, and he says. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know you smoke. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Yes, I was. Like, he said, oh, that's good. <laughs> then and then he pulls out the biggest cigarette you've ever seen and continues to start smoking with you, or what? You're exactly right. Did he, he say great? And then you out, both smoked in the car? No, we didn't smoke in the car. But he pulled out of his suit, his sport coat a fucking cannon of a cigar and waved it in front of my face and said, I smoke more than cigarette. Stronger. You thought it was a PVC <laughs> pipe. <laughs> he pulled a Swiffer it, out of his pocket and lit the end of it. <laughs> it was Louis Lou. Get into it. Louis Lou, he, he was said, there Lou, for you. I'm on my way to Tijuana for a cat litter retreat. You think I'm afraid of smoking? <laughs> And he fucking picked me up too. We was there and people, back a week later. People whose biggest vice is a cigarette don't go do cat litter retreats in Mexico. Oh no 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 no. So, but it wasn't a lockdown. Like yes, it wasn't a lockdown. It wasn't um they you know I could come and go. I, I it's but it was just you know it was it's like a yoga retreat. You're gonna want to be there. You're gonna stay. You're not gonna leave. You know. So yeah. it was halfway between like a, a like a inpatient experience and in a, a frou-frou goop kind of wellness getaway it was halfway in between so but how long was it seven days and so yeah wait a minute is this like the people who pay the woman to teach them to sting themselves with bees absolutely and let me tell you why so first of all i this is the i didn't know about the diet i didn't know 
Somebody lied to her several <laughs> times when they said she could no. eat cookies, candy, <laughs> yeah. soda, yeah. and bread. When they said the accommodations were going to be fly, hot, sexy, and beautiful, they were nothing, of, nothing the of the sort. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, Mary, it was, I go, I get there and they said, oh, there's no coffee here. And I'm uh, literally about to grab my bag, like uh, Viola Davis, just get out the chat. And then, and they, and they said, I was like, oh, but um, tea? And they're like, oh yeah, we have tea. This fucking whore has the nerve to grab a box off the shelf and say, we have this tea. I said, Mary, that's not tea. That's some dried fruit. That's squirt. (laughs) Why don't you fucking pull down your panties, spread them legs and squirt into my open mouth. Yeah. She said, we have some tea. You said, well, tell you what, why don't I go back outside, get in the car with Lou and fuck myself. (laughs) I used to teach yoga. I could probably bend over and fuck myself. Yeah, I'm going to get Lou's cannon of a cigar and shove it up my ass and start shove crying. Shove it right up my ass. <laughs> right in my ass. Right in my so fucking So they said ass. no coffee. They brought you tea, which was what? Dried fruit? Dried fruit. It's an herbal infusion. Let me tell you something. It's not tea. There's no caffeine in that. There's not tea. No. It's an herbal infusion. That's dried sticks and, and leaves in a pot and of water. by the way. There is a time and a place where like an herbal tea is so lovely. Pre-dinner. Yeah, three minutes before like bed. A little chamomile. <laughs> chamomile. Three minutes yeah. before bed. Yeah. Yeah. Not not at fucking six in the morning. So, but anyways, it was, then it was, then it was, real, then it got just, got so much more real and real and real. No meat. Okay. Fine. 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 No dairy. Okay. No sugar. No sugar. Mary, uh, that's 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 a tall order for a lot no of people. Salt for you, that's a lot. No sugar. I don't think or people salt. know that you. I'm not kidding. We've been on set where you have sent your assistant to go to the the Seven Eleven to buy a handful of candy bars to feed you during the day. I've I have seen shoved it. Skittles up my ass when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah, the wrapper I've, on, <laughs> I've seen her do Coca Cola. She shoots it. Intravenously. Right up my ass, yeah. Right up your this. ass. Or are you doing one of those baby feet masks? You hear that, listeners? That didn't do that much to me. Really? I did the baby foot. Not that much happened. Well, you probably got, you're going to never work today in your life to get them feet Well, like my that. feet are gorgeous. Yeah, mine are not. Nothing of the sort. So, so they, they, oh, wait, 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 can we get okay. to the, the actual yeah, yeah, administration? Yeah, yeah. So three days in, I'm like, okay, let's get this party started. You know, and I, and I've done other psychedelic drugs before I've done years ago, recreationally, more recently for therapeutically, you know, under supervision with lots and lots of stuff. And, you know, there's a huge difference in the intent. So this, I was not looking to go on a roller coaster, but I was looking to have a, a, a an interesting, uh, um, Transformative, for, yeah, illuminating, exactly. illuminate. Thank you. For, for lack of a better word, mind blowing. To be honest, and then Mary. Oh Lord. So it is. It was eight hours of fucking horror. It was. I, I puked my guts out several times, and I had fasted for eight hours before the the administration of the drug because for that very reason. Imagine the most. Imagine your worst hangover, the most oh, horrible oh, yeah. motion sickness. If you, if you, so you're laying down because you want to lay down, it, it, it completely, you have this thing called ataxia, which is like basically your body is kind of just paralyzed, but you can move if you want to, um, but you don't want to. You're just, and then it's just the spins. You close your eyes and you are hurl, hurtling through infinity, spinning, revolving, flipping. That sounds uh, horrible. It was horrible. It was horrible. Someone lied to me. I, 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 I should have asked, you know, this is the third time I have, after the fact, have come up with very basic questions that would be very pertinent to ask before. Like, for example, very simply, is this going to be fun? And after that, I asked all the clinicians, how would you have answered that question? They would have said, oh, no. Can I ask you a question about what were your intentions? Like, what were you looking to adjust in yourself in this experience? So basically, so are you trying to do very drugs in the woods? Or are you trying to like no, change? No, no, no. I'm trying to change. It is completely therapeutic. I don't, especially with this drug, I, I did a ton of research and still there's so, there's such a wide variety of experiences and, and people describe it so many different ways. It's kind of right. like, you know, you got to just, at a certain point, there's things that you're going to know, like, okay, I'm not going to get up and want to dance. 
I'm not going to be screaming. I'm not going to be uh, up. You know, I'm not, it's going to be a very down tempo, introspective experience with my eyes closed. But girl, I mean, shit. Like, you know, you hear on ayahuasca, people throw shit, up. Shit, girl, please. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. What are y'all doing? Screwing? <laughs> Well, can I say this? Uh, this type of experience also, it not just depends on the experience you have. To one person who's maybe a cynic, they might have a different experience than someone who's like, there is a very obvious placebo effect for some people because yeah. even if it yeah. does nothing, yeah. if somebody goes into an experience like that, yeah. believing that they are going to come out yeah. the other side different. Yep. It does work because you believe it works. Of course. And guess what? So the, I'm so not saying the drugs don't yeah. work. I'm saying even if no. the drug is a fake pill, if you believe it's going to change you, you change. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the placebo effect is insane. And it's funny you mentioned that because that's exactly what happened. I went into there and because there's a, there's a, there's a, a traditional ritualistic element um, a native to the population, native to, um, you know, the, the culture. Um, you know, that's just not my experience. That's not is my experience. Is this a Native American, um, <sighs> it's like not, kind of curated it, thing? It, it, no, it was, um, it was a, a shamanic. So it was not, not necessarily Native American, but it was a shamanic kind of experience. So there was like, there were, you know, candles and, and sage and feathers and all that kind of crap in, in, which I was, I'm very open. Like, you know, I'm, I'm open to it. Anything that's going to facilitate because, by the, way, the openness. By the way, I, I mean, maybe I'm biased because I grew up Native American. Native American religious stuff, of course, it's stories like the the moon is a wolf, whatever, the earth is a turtle. But on the other hand, a lot of it is based on like metaphysical truths. Sure. The circle of life. When you die, you go back into the earth. That's also scientifically true. Yeah. So it's easy to get on board with that. Yeah. Dreams being or they, they believe dreams are, you know, sometimes telling the future. It's like, well, yeah, you dream about the things you want. You dream about the things you hope will happen. And then they actually are the future. So like. Yeah. I think with Native American stuff, it ends up being more of like, what parts of it make sense to you? Use what you like. Absolutely. There isn't even really a rule book. No, no, of course not. And this is all, a lot of this is, it's very nebulous. And it's, and it, like you said, the, I mean, I am a very, I'm at, at, I'm of two minds. I'm extremely open and interested in, in uh, quote unquote, kooky stuff, the metaphysical, the spiritual, the occult. However, I'm extremely skeptical. And so what happened, one, I went into it very open, very emotional. I mean, like there's a thing, there's a little ceremony before where I was crying because I was just very, very like, I was just very ready to change. Yeah. And I, I was just, because you're thinking about what do you want to change? What do you want to change? Like what parts of your body do you want to get rid of? What do you want to, you know? And it just gets uh-huh. very emotional. I, well, I that's take, what I'm asking you. What were you wanting to, what was it? I wanted to be released from the addiction. Right. I wanted to be a released. I just wanted to get that monkey off my back, you know, and- because, girl, not, not telling your story, but some people reach to that point where they don't not not like drugs anymore. They're fucking tired of the cycle of it. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and yeah. tired of it. Where you're just like, yeah, I'm over the process. And it's in, and it's not even like and there's so many layers. It, and usually it's at the most selfish layer. It has nothing to do. Sometimes it has nothing to do with, you know, because that addiction brings you to a very very self-centered hell where sometimes you're not even fucking thinking about the, the pain you're causing other people in your immediate vicinity. You're like, I just don't want to feel like this. I just yeah. don't want to feel like that. But so anyways, the, so go into the treatment, the, the thing starts and bitch two fucking hours into it. I was like, I got gooped. I was you like, think? I was like, this is a fucking scam. This is I'm just so some... disappointed. Well, no, 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 wait, wait, no, not to, not, not. Hold on, it gets, it gets more interesting. The, so two hours into it, I was like, I had, I had uh, observed all that. Like I said, I have a lot of experience with hallucinating in altered states. Uh huh. Very, and I've done the most potent psycho um, hallucinogenic. Um, yeah, drug and I in feel the world. like you're a great candidate because you don't believe in Santa Claus, but you're so down for the ride. Oh yeah. Sign right? me up. Yeah. So, but and two, three hours into it, it was an eight hour trip or experience. I was like, get me the fuck off this hokey pokey tilt a world because. Hooky, spooky, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is, I was like, you know, how I was thinking of the money I spent. I was thinking about, you know, the feathers, the smoke. I was like, what a fucking bunch of fucking charlatans. This is a bunch of bullshit. And I stayed like that until the bitter fucking end. And then. It was 10 a.m. at 10 p.m. 
The trip didn't uh, lasted till like eight a.m. Puking my guts out, being miserable, horrible. Then it spent oh the my next God. the next whole day in a horrible hangover, seething with resentment, fucking fuming, fuming, fucking <laughs> fuming. But then guess what? Finally fell asleep, woke up, felt the best I felt in ten fucking years. Really? Yeah. 10 fucking years. The next day, even better. 15 fucking years. Oh my God. So, do you think, uh, do you think maybe you did have some sort of, do you think that you thought that the process would make you very aware of certain purging of, of negativity or whatever? Do you think well, you I, would be more uh, monitoring it? I, that because of, it I, seems like you're disappointed that you didn't feel it happening as it happened or something. Definitely that. I mean, I, in the moment, so like, for example, with this other, this other drug, um, that is called 5-MAO-DMT, mama, there's nothing to describe it. You are Jodie Foster what... in the wormhole. You're in, <laughs> and I'm not joking. I'm literally not joking. It's actually, it's crazier than that. Your entire being explodes and reforms and folds it. I mean, it, there's a whole, it's insane. It's the six flags of, of, um, psychedelics. Cause it's a ride. And it, yeah. it, it, it uh, most, many people... And there's nothing I could ever say to you to prepare you for what it'll feel like because there's just, it's just crazy. This, however, is much more explainable. It was not enjoyable. It was not a ride. There was lots of things that happened, but in the moment, there's no real, there, I had no realizations. I had no transformations. I had no uh, awake, nothing, no awakenings. It was right. just shitty. But the, but the, the, researchers say that what's happening is that there are some neurological changes that are cumulative over the time after for weeks and weeks after the treatment. Again, I'll wait for the scientific papers to, to, you know what I mean? I would, cause I mean, mama, when people say to me that there's a drug that's going to rewire your brain, I say, are you an electrician? Well, and also like maybe you know I mean? these people, and maybe it does rewire the brain for people who are, I don't want to minimize anyone's, anyone's experiences. But there's dabbling new addicts. There's like diet addicts. And then there's people there's like There's a whole you. range. Well, it's and, a and, different thing. Yeah. And so, for example, the, I heard about this treatment and got connected with this treatment because of a friend of mine who was, when I tell you, he makes my addiction look like a fucking sandbox full of children. This motherfucker, <laughs> he is. Which is what addiction looks like. Yeah, it's a, it's sandbox. a sandbox full of it's children. A, well, it's, With, there's a little litter in there. There's a turd sometimes. Litter, but yeah. And the children yeah. are cat shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was shoving needles into his every or you know every vein. Oh, he was no. having multiple. He was hotel rooms bouncing people. No. A, a, a parade of anonymous fuck people. I mean, it was burned down a house. Burned down a house. So and oh yeah, Mary. It, it, the list goes on. It's not, it's not even scratching the surface. It's not even scratching the surface. Burning so he went down, down the house. <laughs> Woo! But he went down there desperate and he was like i i don't care if this this treatment kills me i am he was at the very very end well that's what i mean for people like you and him it's like well you're not gonna mess up my brain oh yeah that's the damage has been done mama i already shit the bed <laughs> might as well yeah. sleep in it yeah i already put the doll down the chute it's done <laughs> yeah <laughs> but so but anyways so here's the thing though what i'm taking away from it is that i'm keeping open but what I'm not, what I'm looking at are the undeniable facts. A, the willingness to go down there says a ton. B, the fucking, the cleanse, the time away, the, the getting your shit just on the body level. Mary, that shit is beautiful for the body. Oh, I are you kidding me? Fresh and new. Yeah. When I was vegan, I swear to God, I felt like I was 15 years old. Yes. Yes. I looked Stunning. The whites of my eyes, my skin, my attitude, my sleep, my energy level. Everything. Game changer. Yeah. Yeah. So now I think I'm, vegan people are so there. Have you ever met an unhappy vegan? I know, but annoying ones, but no, not unhappy. Definitely annoying, but like not unhappy. No. And, but so yeah, the caffeine too. That was, I, once I was up or that second, third day hump, I was bolting out of bed. I was little doing a triple axle out of the bed at 7 a.m. saying, hello, baby. Yeah, like Well, because I don't think people realize their relationship with caffeine. No. My sister last night was like, that's just who I am. I I sleep during the day and I stay up all night. It was like 11 p.m. and she was having a Red Bull. I said, girl. What? Duh. That's crazy. That's crazy. (laughs) 
Hi, this is your pubic service announcement and the news you've all been waiting for. The Manscaped engineering team has confirmed that they have successfully created the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which is now available for purchase in the US and Canada. My brand new one just came in the mail. It's in the box. I haven't even cut into it yet because I have my previous Manscaped device, but I think it's time to upgrade. This new trimmer was just released only moments ago, and we're one of the first people to get our hands on it. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trusted Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. I can't wait to use this thing. It says the ceramic blade and skin safe technology is so good. It's almost as if Manscaped worked with Elon Musk's engineers to ensure your testes are as safe as possible. Let's just say I need to be able to not cut myself because I have gone full American Horror Story freak show contortionist trying to shave certain parts of myself. And I'm, uh, even after beauty school, very prone to accidents with trimmers. So this is a wonderful product. What makes this trimmer different than other trimmers? The new trimmer allows you to customize your trim all over through additional guard lengths, sizes one to four. And looks wise, you guys, it's sleek, it's small, it's a two-tone matte and gloss finish. With the Manscaped logo on it, it's just like throw it in your bag and go. Did I mention wireless charging? The Lawnmower 4.0's new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction, which can help battery length last longer. Yes, God. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. No one wants to end up with pubes in their mouth. And your balls will thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code BALD. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Hi, friends. Me Andes believes that comfort is about more than what's touching your skin. <laughs> it's about feeling comfortable inside your skin. That's why me undies not only use a sustainable, breathable, soft as hell fabric, but they also give you endless styles to choose from. It's total comfort inside and out. I want to talk to you a little bit about what kind of underpants I am currently wearing. <laughs> Join me for a moment of visualization. Yes. Imagine that I am undoing my trousers right in front of you. What do you see? Well, <laughs> I've got on brief styling. Yes, I do. I'm fully briefed in my softer than soft micromodal style briefs. They literally grow from trees, darling. Yes, sustainably sourced beechwood fibers are spun into a yarn to create a natural fabric that is not only super soft, but breathable, static resistant, and impossibly cozy, not to mention the fact <laughs> the very salient fact, the undeniable fact, the reality that I look and feel like a Grecian god. Yes, I do. My genitals are safely and securely contained within that beautifully, perfectly proportioned pouch. <laughs> the elastic leg opening <laughs> prevents slipping of those exact genitals I previously mentioned. Have I said that it's the brief to end all briefs? Well, I just did. Never leave your couch again with a Me Undies membership, a monthly subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. Each month, you'll choose New Undies socks or a bralette and pick the style and color of print that feels the most you. Fun, right? <laughs> Plus, enjoy discounted pricing, free shipping, and exclusive early access to new launches. Love your butt and get the membership. Me Undies is a great offer for my listeners. For any first time purchases, you get 15% off and free shipping. <laughs> Me Undies also has their problem free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveat, no questions. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash bald. That's MeUndies.com slash bald. So do you think... I mean, do you think it did what you wanted it to do? I, I, yeah, I do. But here's the thing. Here's the, so the other, the main, that the, the, the real takeaway is that there is absolutely nothing. There, there exists no magic bullet. Obviously I would have gobbled that bullet down years ago. Um, right. But so it, it's all about returning to life 
with all this shit in place to make sure that your day to day is taken care of. That you have that you have day to day because girl, I mean, I, I was I was propelled into the sh- stratosphere in January, but came back down to Earth. Earth is the problem. I have a problem with Earth. On Earth, I act a fool. In the stratosphere, everything's great. Do you know what I mean? What happened in January? That's that was the five meo, the um the the crazy crazy cat litter. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, so for the listeners, I did a very like the the most potent psychoact psychedelic drug just as a therapeutic thing, and it was insane. But but it brings would, you right back down. No hangover, nothing. You, it's tr- crazy. Would you say that there is any validity in, not me, but a naysayer who says doing drugs can't cure doing drugs? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because I do think that I do think that this type of therapy, attached to a certain amount of full time self care, oh, yeah. meetings, accountability, fitness, yep. sleep, yep. I do think this plugged into other stuff could definitely work. It's an amuse bouche. Alone could not. It's an amuse bouche. Yeah, it's not a meal. It's not a diet. It's a, it's an hors d'oeuvre, honestly. Or it's it's a it's a schedule change, or it's a, it's literally saying, okay, we're gonna pick you up. You're going. You're in the left lane. We're gonna pick you up, put you in the right lane. Now you have to walk, bitch. You know what I mean? Right. No, nobody's gonna walk for you, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna gravitate right towards that left lane if you don't change your shit. You know what I mean? So, but there's there's a whole thing about um, and it, it's a controversial thing I know, but it, but you know what? In con- recovery is not controversial. Psychedelics in recovery, they're very rigorously. Uh, self-aware and honest with each other about these therapeutic applications in the context of a recovery program. So do people in meetings talk about doing these type no. of experiences? No, because that's in, not in like a regular a meeting, it's an outside issue. And it's just, it, it, we're talking about traditional 12 step, like uh, narcotics anonymous, uh, alcoholics anonymous. It's a drug. It's a drug. Mind altering substances are not on the table, you know? And right. it's like you said, you can't, it's like, it, you know, so, and this is all very new therapeutic research. This is very new. Um, well, you know, it's using drugs to permanently change people isn't new. I mean, I'm sure you know that Molly well, was invented as a, yeah. it was a therapy for people who are married who were kind of like not in love anymore. Yeah. Well, I'll get this though. What the guy I was just talking about, he was down there because he was on antidepressants, antipsychotics for 20 years. Oh my gosh. And he, that's and he was just trying to get trying to like little by little incrementally just get off the pharma, you know, because he's just his whole chemistry, his whole identity, his whole life for 20 fucking years is pharmacy. Have you been on antidepressants? I've tried them and I, I you know, they just I'm not a you know, for person. some people for I'm some people who person. are depressed, if they get the right vibe, yeah. the right cocktail. Life changing. Sure. Yeah. Um, I have somebody in my family who had suppression and she was like when i i didn't want to take them and when i got on them she was like it was like whoa i could feel yeah. like this all the time yeah yeah i mean there's de- there's a but lot you're not listen, depressed i'm not depressed when i'm when all things are when all of the 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 bulbs and the in the whistles are pointed in the right direction i'm team too much i mean i'm like it, i oh yeah yeah like right i mean girl i bolted i bolted out of bed at 7 a.m and said hello world hi what you got for me today oh. <laughs> You do have kind of two settings, though. But you know what, though? Don't you think that's sort of a hallmark of a lot of addicts where they either burn extremely bright on both ends yeah. or they're like laying in the dark silently? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, alcoholics kind of famously are achievers because if when you take like there, it is a classic thing. You observe it if you go to program stuff in recovery. You take away the booze and the drugs from from very like alcohol, very alcoholic people. They just shoot to the moon because they are, there's a, an enormous amount of like, uh, it takes so much to continue to live while actively killing yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, uh, they're yeah, very especially strong with willed. booze because, especially oh. with booze because there's this front end of you're losing hours and losing time because you're, you're drunk or whatever. Mm. And then when you're swinging back, waking up hungover, you lose a day because you can't do anything. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. When you go out and do heavy drinking, you can't take off that night. You need to take off that night and the next day. Really? That's even for a casual drinker. I mean, if you're going to go out and get drunk with your friends, have four cocktails, let's say, you can't just like wake up and go to Pilates. No, can you not? I'm the opposite a lot of the times. If I'm hungover, I wake up being like, 
well, too bad, bitch. Oh, but you're we're still going to overachiever, though. We're still going to do. I was. Wait, wait. Was, um, I just ran. What was I doing? Oh, Orville Peck and I went out Monday and had like four gin and tonics against my will. It was my will. <laughs> I was like 2.30 a.m. and I'm at home drinking a White Claw drunk playing video games. And I was like, <laughs> I don't have to work tomorrow, but I guess I'll go to sleep. And the next day I woke up and because I had the day off, I was like, no, 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 no. We're not spending the day drunk. We're not spending the day hungover. We're getting up and doing things, bitch. I still went on my jog. I did it all. So for me, it's like, I'm almost at the point where like, if I'm hungover, I'm like, we're compensating. Yeah. We're yeah. not going to be a flop just because yeah. we had fun last night. You push through yeah. it. If I would go to work sick, why wouldn't I go to work hungover? You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> why is a league of their own such a good movie? Well, Tom Hanks. I mean, Do you know Davis? Tom, Tim Hunks. Yeah. Madonna. Madonna. Great. Great. Madonna. Great in that what movie. What if I, and oops, my, my oh, bosoms fall out. My bosoms fall Yeah. You think there's anybody you think there's someone who hasn't seen your bosoms? Seen your bosoms? <laughs> yeah. Lori Petty. Which one's Lori Petty? Is she the kid? The, the younger sister. Kit. The, the younger sister. Yeah. Oh, Gina Davis, when she goes to catch that ball and falls into the split. She invented During drag. the skirt. Yeah, she did. Gina Davis. <laughs> and, nobody knows this. Gina Davis originally hosted Drag Race. She, But she would, you know, but the League of Their Own, she was so outrageously non-athletic that they had so much trouble with, with the, the, like the getting her to seem like a, like a top tier athlete. Really? Yeah. Because she's so tall. She's so, she was so gangly and uncoordinated, even though she's like so intelligent is like an incredible archer or whatever. But she was, yeah, famously struggle, struggle, struggle bus for that role. There's this incredible scene in that movie. If nobody's seen, um, a league of her owns is a league of her owns is <laughs> there's this part where, um, what's her fucking name? Rosie O'Donnell. Who's also in it. Yeah. Whips a baseball at Gina Davis and she catches it with a bare hand out yeah. of the air and it's yeah. so cunt. Daughter, I married a plastic surgeon. Have you ever <laughs> seen the show My Six Hundred Pound Life? No, I don't need to because that's what I'm currently living right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that when you gain ten pounds, you're like, "Well, here we are, obesity. Here we are, obesidad morbida." <laughs> <laughs> I the Six Hundred Pound Life. There was a girl that was on it. Um, and well, they're all very big and they all are at different lo- times. Some of them want to lose weight. Some of them don't. Some of mm. them make it to the surgery. Some of them don't. Mm. Um, it's interesting. It's not the same as drug addiction, but food addiction. I'm sure there's some through lines. Oh, drug and Mary, food addiction. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you something right now. I would take drug addiction any day over food addiction. You think? I know. Because here's why. I don't have to walk into a Kroger and look at shelves of crystal meth. Yeah, but you do have to look at Benadryl, which is in crystal meth, isn't it? No, that's it's pseudoephedrine. Is it pseudoephed. It's pseudoephedrine. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. But That'd girl, be me I... trying to make meth, by the way. <laughs> Benadryl, the active ingredient. Mixing up a few ingredients that I saw on Breaking Bad. <laughs> Benadryl, diet sprite, and eczema. <laughs> uh, yeah, just totally. cook it up to a golden bubbly. <laughs> But David was watching it and he goes, this woman is 900 pounds. And I responded to your text. That is so cunty. <laughs> because the ultimate power I'm not move. making fun. <laughs> like at, at the ultimate. Okay. It's cunty to be whatever really snatched and fit. Yeah. But the commitment it takes to be 900 pounds or whatever. Yeah. Is also. It makes me think. What else could this person do? If this I, wasn't their thing, could they fucking build? A, think about who it. Knows? it just, could they cure yeah. cancer? Like, think it's about hard it. to be that big. Mary, Your body does not yeah. want to be that big. I'm telling you, I would, I would, so Wimberly, Jason Wimberly beat my ass today with a bat. He stuck a bat up my ass and started kicking me in the head in our workout today. So you're saying seeing a trainer is the same as a 900 pound woman? No, I'm saying t- I gained 10 fucking pounds and the difference I felt doing pull ups, I, I was like, these whores are carrying around 600 plus LBs and they're, they are, they get the stress on the body organs. Like it is, they're having to yes. deal with so much. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, like doing the marathon, it's an exercise in like pushing your body's limits, right? Yeah. Gaining that much weight is a, is a similar, I think, 
it's a commitment. Well, a I don't know if it's a commit- commitment. I mean, it's like, a, but it, I, I mean, I, I don't even know. I can't even imagine, you know, my, my, but my body experience is so on an un, un, like so not in that neighborhood because how so if you you watch that show what where do they kind of tell you where they come from like what how do how does it start yeah Cause that's where I'm getting for a some, little confused for, well there's sort of a few things that are always in place there's okay. always when you're that big 600 pounds you can't get up and cook and grocery shop yourself there's always a husband or a wife or a mom there's an enabler you I was gonna say there's a enabling because right. at a certain point there needs to be somebody cooking you. 2000 calorie meals and bringing them to your bed. So yeah. like, that's what I mean. The it's an impossible physical feat to get that big. And it how makes you they, think, how wow, they the body is down. so amazing. This person, if this person put this energy into something else, they could the human in, body. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these people I'm like, I mean, I only watch the show. So I only know what I see on the show, but, Everybody has, you know, some people, their mom died or some people, it's usually trauma based. Obviously okay. food is their escape. Food is, and food is hard because it's your entertainment. And even when you have a food addiction, you have to eat three times a day. That's what I'm saying. That's why I would trade. I would, I would, I would take drugs over food because I don't ever, I mean, I'm talking to live a healthy, balanced, wonderful, joyous life. No drugs. Like, yeah, but I, you have to eat Food has to be part of the picture several times a day. It is so, I mean, it's the fucking. Well, eating on drugs is horrible. Unless it's like marijuana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, eating on uppers is not a thing. I know. That's because that's why I like uppers because I don't really like to eat that much. I mean, not relatable content. Most people love to eat. I know. Well, I love to just, you know, be on speed. But um, the. I just, I just think of these really fat people and I think of like, wow, if this person, if these people replaced the fat or the eating or whatever in their life with, I don't know, a healthy expression of some kind. I'm like, these are superhumans. They've just sort of placed the interest and the emphasis and the coping on the wrong thing. Yeah. Like some people do fitness as an, some people push fitness to the point of unhealthy coping. Of course. Yeah. Another thing, I mean, my mom, psychiatric nurse for over 30 years, you know, the hardest group of people she ever worked with the population. Her kids. (laughs) Her kids. Her kid, her kid, me, her kid. (laughs) Yeah. No eating disorders. Eating disorders. It was, it was just, it's, it's baffling The the, that particular mental illness is, it is so insidious. It's so baffling. It's in the most, most importantly, it's so confusing to people who don't have it because it's so, it's like, it's just doesn't make any sense because you're looking at a skeleton. You're looking at a skeleton. I mean, a skeleton on the brink of death. Or on the opposite end, you're looking at someone who is paralyzed in their body by yeah. their own body. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you, I mean, the really, the really, really, really skinny people too. Like I remember in college, we had a girl in ballet class and she she dropped out the semester. But I remember three weeks in staying after on ba- in ballet class and going to the teacher and going, it's not my business. But at a certain point, I feel bad still not saying anything. Has anybody said anything to that girl? Because yeah. there was a girl who just bones was a skull. Bones. Her face yeah. was a skull. Yeah, it and looks like, ghoulish. It looks anybody ghoulish. gonna say anything? Yeah. And the teacher was like, "Um, respecting her um privacy, I can't say much, but it's been brought to a lot of the instructor's attention. We are taking care of it." Because I remember yeah. just being like, "When a person like that enters the room, and then we're all supposed to act like, like you don't see it, right?" Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's just so we're not, And we're not supposed to act like we don't see it. That's the thing. We're, we're right. supposed to be like, right. I don't even know that girl's name and I didn't at the time, but I'm like, oh, what's with that fucking girl? But yeah. again, because it's puzzling. I mean, yeah. I have a hard time. I love food. I have a hard time skipping a meal. I have to be so busy to like forget to eat lunch. Yeah. 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 Cause well, I'm trying to eat Mary. Green Chef is the first USDA certified organic meal kit company. Enjoy clean ingredients you can trust, seasonally sourced for peak freshness. You guys, I'm a lifelong vegetarian and I previously thought that exciting meal kit options were unavailable to me. But Green Chef makes eating well easy and affordable with plans for any lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, I personally have, I'm a vegetarian, but I have mindset to vegan. 
I don't want to be like 31 years old finding out new information, but I didn't realize that vegan food could be so good. I know that that's sad. I know that I'm white trash and I'm late to the party, but I'm amazed. And I'm amazed every time I make one of these meals that I made it. Green Chef is the first ever keto meal kit on the market, and it makes sticking to a low-carb lifestyle easy, with recipes averaging only 14 net carbs each. This is pretty cool, you guys. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. All the packaging on the inside, the things that keep it cool, everything is recyclable. It is such a gag. You guys, the other night I made a white bean soup. I've never made a soup in my life. I couldn't believe how good it was. I couldn't believe it. And then the night before, I made um, mole roasted carrots. You guys, I didn't even know what mole was, and my wig flew the chat. And then tonight, I had a very, very exciting, like, maple quinoa uh, maple quinoa bowl. Girl, this is my th- uh, three meals this week. I cooked all by myself. And I came home today from being a drag all day and made that meal all by myself. Go to greenchef.com slash 90bald and use code 90bald to get $90 off, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash 90bald and use code 90bald to get $90 off, including free shipping, you guys. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. Hello, listeners. How are you feeling today? Wonderful. I'm here to talk to you about incredible service, which is tempts.com. Are you still going to post office? Are you still paying full price for the postage? Well, thing of the past, thanks to stamps.com, you don't have to do that anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send the letters, send the packages, and pay less, I'm talking a lot less, with discounted rates from UPS, USPS, and many more. Okay, stamps.com, it's a really incredible thing. I cannot tell you how much money and time, it's the time really, it's the time I have saved by not going to post office. Listen, I have nothing against post office, but I don't want to go there, okay? I live in small village, it takes forever. And with all this time saved from not having to live in house, I have incredible, wonderful relationships now with my family. Sasha, Dasha, and Masha, my sisters, plus Pasha, my brother, we're all having fun doing Scrabble together. Stamps.com, they bring the service of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to my computer. I have three computers, okay? One in every room of my very small, tiny little village house. And I can access all the wonderful features. For example, I print official U.S. postage 24-7. That means like any time of day for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere. Mostly to Russia, which is very far away, okay? With stamps.com, you get discounts up to 40% of post office rates and up to 66% of UPS shipping rates. Wow, it's at at a prostitute, yes, like a chuda. Stamps.com is like a no brainer, okay? Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There is no risk. And with my promo code BOLD, you get special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus the free postage and the digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in BOLD. That's stamps.com, promo code BOLD. Stamps.com. Please, never go to the post office again. I So just to keep it light, I have to say, on and on the topic of the bald and the beautiful, I have to, I, in the body, Mary, I gotta say, I shaved my asshole, and it may not be beautiful, but it's bald, and it feels. What a reset. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling Has you. Has it started growing back yet? Because that's also a reset. Not for me, mama. Not for me. Okay, because when it starts growing back, that's a reset. It, it can be. It can be. It can be very challenging, but at a certain point, you kind of get used to it. But I'm going to tell you, I have never, after shaving my asshole, not felt several degrees of incredibly better. No matter what I'm going through, <laughs> no matter what's happening. What if I just the- left the Zoom right now? I wish you would. <laughs> Click. I'm telling you what I fucking weed whack that nasty hole. I get out of the shower. Can I like, ask what's your process? Cinderella. What's your process? Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> are you? What are you doing? Are you bent over the? You're gonna laugh I when you hear how I do it. Deep squat, baby. I'm in a deep squat. Deep like squat. I'm shitting yeah. over a hole. Shitting I, you know what over I do? A hole. This what is horrible. Doing? I put a leg up. Put the toilet seat up. I squat. Wait, 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 wait. You don't do it in the shower. You don't do it in the no. tub? What? No, I, I put the toilet seat up. I squat over the toilet with my toes curled around the ceramic bowl. Like a gargoyle. And then, 
Yes, like a gargoyle. On Notre and then Dame. The hair yeah. fall- <laughs> yes, and then the hair falls in the toilet. From what action? And then I flush it, and as the hair goes away, I sing, I don't want to wait <laughs> for my life to be over. But let me ask, what, are you action? using a clipper? Are you using a clipper? Yeah, I use like a grrr, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then, okay. yeah. and then in the shower, like if I'm shaving for like a photo shoot, yeah. then I shave with a... Excuse me? What kind of photo shoot are you Remember fucking shaving? Remember when I was naked a couple home? months ago and I called you? Yeah, but who's sp- are you spreading your cheeks open and showing your fucking gape? Fina painted my <laughs> asshole. Oh my god, you are Fina just, painted let's my talk about asshole. trauma. Let's talk about trauma. Let's talk about inflicting trauma on other people. But you know what though? <laughs> if you're gonna shave all the parts that the camera's gonna see, you also need to shave all the parts so that you can feel it. Thank you. That's exactly I was just gonna you took the words right out of my mouth. It's that's for you. And you feel like the only you feel like you have a pussy. You have you are LA's LA's tightest pussy three years ago. Because I was tucked yeah. too. <laughs> Me tucked yeah. naked with pumps on, I felt like fucking Amanda Laporte. Yeah. <laughs> I looked like Amanda Lepore, P O O R. <laughs> you look up, you've got three plaques on the wall that says Los Angeles tightest cunt, 1997 uh, yeah. to two. <laughs> I wanted to be Amanda Lepore, but I was a man who is poor. A man who is poor. <laughs> a man who is poor. Oh my yeah, God. I mean, wait, wait, wait. Let's I take should... a break. Let's take a break. The, the, the time for a break is long gone. <laughs> but speaking of assholes, yeah. Um, <laughs> Your dad called me. No. <laughs> Speaking of assholes, for the marathon, I have to wear a body glide in my butt crack because when I'm running the 20 miles, the if I don't wear that, I get bloody red parentheses around my asshole from you where the skin was rubbing. You are Chafin Chafin Buttigieg. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is... That is I got, so I got Chafin on my peat. Oh, my God. <laughs> what yeah. is... Uh, what the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? What it's the crazy. Fuck? Well, this is really illuminating. I couldn't wait to hear about your uh, your yeah. your well, trips so in, in the all, night. All in all, great experience. And I do want to say, listen, I've I you know just in the terms of like, I, I don't like to be all. Um, I'll just skip that part. Never mind. Well, no, no, no. Let's make it clear: we're not glamorizing drug use. No, we're, we're not, not glamorizing. glamorizing yeah, six hundred pound also, life. Right. Anything. No, and I, I don't, and also, I'm not trying to let. I'm not trying to like. I've learned over the course of being this kind of famous, you know, this gay famous gig for the last five years or something. I've learned that it's not necessarily like. I I need to kind of retain a little bit of privacy when it comes to this kind of stuff because I don't. A I don't want people in my business. A B I don't want people worrying about me. C I don't want people thinking like projecting anything on me and see and d i'm not trying to be no fucking hero for any recovery are you thing. suggesting that our fans don't have a sense of boundaries with us <laughs> i'm sure i don't know what you mean i'm sure when i receive <laughs> letters to my house yeah yeah did i say that yeah. letter did i say that I, letter yeah I'm just like, I'm just not the type of person like there in, 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 listen, it's a new age. So with the social media, I've noticed people, people will post their sobriety milestones on, on, on social media. I am not that person. I mean, that's not, and it's not because I'm ashamed or it's because I'm whatever. It's just, it's none of really people's business, but I no, thought this was there's an interesting some things experience. I like to be there. It's okay to, to, as a performer, I will tell you the texture of the skin around my ass, yes. but I won't tell you how I felt when someone died. Right. There's some things I don't want to talk batteries. about. Yeah, like, I'm never gonna. I don't let like my to sub- talk yeah. about. I don't like to talk about death, sickness, yeah. my own health. I don't like to talk about um, national tragedy. Yeah, national like yeah. like uh, political affairs. There's yeah. certain things that to me are private that I feel uncomfortable sharing with people. Yeah, and it's yeah. okay to. It's yeah. and it's okay to be to to be that way. Okay, well, why don't we um let you go. Hey. Hi. I'm glad you're still with us. <gasps> what about this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I, just I just heard. heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Shit, I'm going right. to push unrecord. Oh,